in the Air Force, I've seen a push to train Air Force pilots, quote unquote, like elite athletes, uh, and which is, I'll take all the help I can get. I'll take all the <laughs> physical trainers and gym equipment and nutritional supplements that I can get. That's awesome. Uh, but I have noticed, at least in flying, the difference between a really good landing and a really scary landing is sometimes like a quarter of a centimeter of movement in the control surfaces and, you know, in the, uh, not the control surfaces, but the controls themselves, the throttle and the stick, that sort of thing. And so it's funny to me to hear like train like an elite athlete, like my deadlift capability doesn't actually change how I control the the airplane. Um, and so I, I'd be interested to, to see if you had any advice for, you know, in a tactical world, training people, quote unquote, like elite athletes. Is that a, a thing that you've, you've looked into or ha have a position on? So I think if we're talking about the, the overall ecosystem and how elite athletes are trained, I think there's a lot of value in that. You, know, you alluded to, to some of the, the resources that are, are afforded uh, to, especially the, the special operations community with, with having the, uh, you know, the recovery uh, types of scenarios available, having the, the support staff to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in a multidisciplinary, whether it's, you know, the, the PTs, the strength coaches, uh, the, the mental coaches, the nutritionists, the recovery specialists. So having all of those, available to allow you to perform at your highest level relative to your own uh, your own uh, skill set you know, basically being able yeah. to express your skill at the at the highest possible level and that doesn't have to mean that okay you know because it, you know elite athlete doesn't have to mean okay we're all going to become high level olympic lifters we're all going to become elite level sprinters you know elite yeah. level uh, performance can mean mean many different things but there's definitely a uh, value in that creating that ecosystem around around the operator right on. I could see that just the the general um all the expertise that comes to bear in creating that is is probably good just for human performance in in, in general right like the way that i think about the way um you know, we even teach people how to shoot. And I know shooting is like a sport, but it's like a sport in a different sense than we're talking like running yeah. and deadlifts, right? Um, but it's not much different than even, we've taken lessons in how we teach people how to apply a, a sport in that sense to even how they clear a house or make decisions in shoot, no shoot scenarios. I mean, just the, the, the way that we deal with coaching and feedback, I think probably plays into that on, on some level. And I, I think that's where I'm going, and, and you know, this is a tangent, right? Technical tangents, what we do. Uh, but it's a thing I think a lot about, and a thing that a lot of our guests specialize in, right? You, you with your elite level athleticism, um, when we talk to Jason Sweet um, and, and uh, Mike Loria, right? We, we've had a couple guests on who specialize in kind of this world. And I, the thing that I'm personally wrestling with is where's the baby and where's the bathwater in this, right? Because there are absolutely some parts of the elite athlete training stuff that I think we do need to capture. And for pilots, a lot of it is uh, how you move your eyes. I think that's really, really important is I have to move my eyes across the instrument panel and across the outside uh, very, very quickly and, and collect that information and process it quickly, the OODA loop stuff, right? I need that a lot more than I need um, wind sprints with a parachute strapped to my back, <laughs> right? I, and w in the tactical telephone game, and as this stuff gets funded and briefed to the colonels and the generals and stuff, you'd be shocked, I think, how often it ends up being <laughs> me doing wind sprints <laughs> <laughs> because we need to make pilots elite athletes. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I, really. I think there's maybe some you know? difficulty separating athleticism from performance. Like performance, yeah. capital P, is not human performance is not necessarily yeah the elite athleticism, phys physical right? fitness in a sense yeah. because this is and that's kind of where I was going with that too is if you if you look at Olympic athletes as an example there's a big mental component to the training I assume that they I've mm -hmm. never been an Olympic athlete obviously. Um, but I, there's, there's a big mental component to a lot of the stuff that they do, you know, the, the, the warrior within or whatever. Um, there's a book, the, the inner game of tennis that talks a lot about like the way people learn. And if you're trying to coach someone, um, you know, on their, on their tennis stroke or whatever, or golf stroke, 
and and how much you can give them to focus on at one time, you know, and, and biting off little bits and pieces of that. It's like one of the things they talked about was how they've studied babies learning how to walk, you know, or even just, you know, mm-hmm. standing themselves up and stuff like that. And and there's an athleticism component to that. Sure, there's mechanics there, right? But there's also just the the learning part of them figuring it out on their own that that maybe plays into that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so, and some of this, in terms of the the performance with whether it's capital P or, or lowercase p, it's <laughs> it's so, so where like the the physical capacity piece would come in for you know let's say yeah. say a pilot. So you know is running wind sprints or the parachute the the answer? Probably not. But are there things that can be done to you know give your your body and ultimately mind the the mental you know and physical endurance to be able to perform at your highest level you know, at the same as in hour one as in you know the the last hour uh, yeah. of, of yep. a mission or you know especially Focus in and attention maybe yeah exactly yep. 